What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Ram Detecting. Well, we finally got some beautiful, cooler weather here in Arkansas. It's been like 100 degrees every day. Dry as a popcorn fart. Uh, so, kind of cuts us out doing parks and people's yards and stuff. So, we head back to the uh, little bio camp. Uh, I got my old buddy Josh with us uh, from uh, Rusty Relics. Uh, by the way, we got a hunt coming up. I don't know if we got any spots left. We might have a few. Uh, I think we've already started a backup list. So we got a hunt uh, se September, 7th. September 7th in Morrillton, Arkansas. Uh, myself and Josh putting it on. Pretty much a free hunt, $25 entry fee. All goes into silver. Uh, some awesome prizes donated from everybody, Excalibur, uh, the good people at First Texas, and uh, some local dealers. Uh, if you want or, or are interested in uh, doing that, get a hold of me or Josh. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram. You can uh, email me. It's in the in my about section on this. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and reach out. Maybe we'll put you on a backup list if, if all the spots are filled. So I want to break in just for a second and uh, talk about uh, something we're doing at the hunt. I'm also um, doing a little raffle for... Um, my wife's nonprofit uh, that she runs for foster care uh, families here in uh, the central Arkansas area. It's called Love Wins. And uh, so we're going to do a raffle for them to help support uh, the cause. And I'm going to leave the link down below if you'd like to uh, get more information or, or donate to the charity. Um, man, we'd love to uh, see you guys do that. So, but anyway, let's get back to the hunt. Anyway. We're back on the camp. Uh, we're gonna explore a little spot. I just have a feeling. Uh, I, I don't. I've, I've been over here a few times. I hadn't found but a couple bullets. But I have a feeling there there had to be a picket on this side. Uh, so we're gonna go out here and explore just a little bit. And then uh, if we don't find nothing, we'll pop back over maybe where I found that plate last year. So, but anyway, let's quit flip flapping. Let's make it happen. Let's get out there. Well, we hadn't heard a lot. I mean, I've dug some trash kind of headed back towards uh where we usually detect that had a really good uh bullet signal here now i hollered at josh did this sound kind of sounds promising uh this old clay dirt, you can't uh dig a plug here so don't don't get on to me for that but i thought i seen a bullet pop out right there that's it yep right there i kind of nicked it it looks like that was a fired one too. Huh. Okay. Well, we're on the board. <laughs> Sweet. Well, I'm over here just right across from where I found that plate last year. And I'm next to this tree and I thought that was probably gonna be junk, but it was a good signal. So I figured that we'd dig it together. So let's just, I know it was over in this corner. It's got some depth, so that's why I got you out. So it could be a bullet. Yep, that's what it is. Look at there. Sweet. It's a good shape too if i didn't just nick it <laughs> nice yeah i sure thought that was probably a piece of trash but uh heck yeah man two for the day sweet well uh josh was uh <laughs> coming towards me he said i got a cut bullet so check that out it sure is cut in half it was ringed too at the top look they ringed it all the way around Sorry about that guys if you can see it that's pretty cool that's a neat piece of well camp art i guess or i don't want you want to call it i might have made it was making it for a game piece who knows sweet man great awesome fun all right josh said he got on something else let's get over here real quick and see if we haven't found a whole lot but that's pretty typical for this spot if you come out with three or four you're doing pretty daggone good what's got Oh, a drop through there. Cool. Oh, man, it's so pretty. Dang. Man, they come out beautiful here. 
Sweet, man. Congrats. Just come back over. He got something. He says right next to the, uh, right next to that bullet. I think that's just, that's a rivet with some leather still on it, I think. It's kind of hard around that one side. Yeah. I think this is leather, and I think that's a rivet right there. Sorry about that, guys. I, just, I don't know why this camera keeps going in and out. We'll clean that up and get you a better view of that. Josh is, I think he's on his, how many is that? Four? Four. Four rivets out of the same hole. It had leather on it. Huh. That's interesting, bub. Well, it was off of something from a soldier. I don't know. I know there's that big debate. Rivets can be off anything, but we're back in the woods. There's nothing else was out here except this camp, and that's it. Never found anything else so, uh, besides trash from the bio. Uh, so these rivets were definitely from this camp, so who knows what they were off of. Hit this area a little more, Bo. You, you probably got some more stuff oh, in I'm here. I'm thinking he might have... I don't know. What is this finial off of? He just pulled it out. Is it a cat box? Or what is that off of? It's riveted on something. Man, I, I recognize it, but I can't place it. Let's keep going. I have a signal. <laughs> he told me to dig over here by him, so I got a signal right beside him. So we'll see uh, what, what we pull out. This is definitely a little tent, tent spot. Uh, I think Josh just got a Colt pistol. Yep, that's what you got, bub. Sweet. Yeah, I've got something here. I still hadn't got it out. It's pretty deep. Everything's pretty, pretty deep. We got to figure out what that finial is off of, though, and all those rivets. I'm, I'm, it's something. <laughs> all right, guys, I finally got down to it. <laughs> I think we got a bullet right here. See that, see that white shining? I think it's what we got. Or camp lead or something. Let's pop it out. Right there. Yep. Heck, that one almost looks like it's cut on or fired or something. It's smooshed. We got, it looks like another three ringer. <laughs> Sweet! Well, I was, uh, this little bank here, just kind of going up and down this bank. Had a signal inside of it. Got this little uh, cut three ringer it looks like a little piece they might have made that for a game piece or something like that so that's pretty cool i'm gonna hit it some more see <laughs> see if we can find something else Still going kind of on this bank embankment here had another bullet signal check it out got another looks like it's another carved bullet huh it's like maybe it was a pistol bullet might have been melted but sure looks kind of carved on sweet well, there you go guys uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we didn't know what that little finial is, but I think we figured it out. I think that Josh found the remnants of a cartridge box. I'm gonna throw a picture up here. Uh, but yeah, it had, we found those rivets and the finial. The only thing we were missing is that old box plate. So it might still be out there. But yeah, we had a pretty good hunt, especially for this spot. Some carved, carved bullets and uh, some pretty good drops. It's always good to save a little history, especially local history. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And like I always say, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.